The following is a message for the 930 attenders of Snellville United Methodist Church. Hey guys, my name is Alex Smith, and I have been the pastor of the 930 service uh, for about 10 months. And it's come to my attention that I've only actually been the pastor of the 930 service for about eight weeks. And so chances are you may not even really know who I am. You may remember me from such amazing videos as The Floor is Lava and Why is he preaching in a bathing suit? But you may not know who I am and it may make it harder to feel like we're coming back into uh, into our service that, that you know and love. And so I wanted to tell you a little bit about me. My name is Alex Smith. I'm not the quarterback. I went over that my first Sunday, but in case you missed it, I'm not the quarterback. I'm also not Adam. Uh, everybody calls me Adam, even the people I keep working with all the way through quarantine. Um, and despite the SPRC's guideline, they're the ones who, who do all the hiring at our church, uh, my name is not James, David, Walter, or Adam, which apparently they look for a James, a David, or Walter, or Adam, and then they'll hire somebody else. So I got lucky and they got in here as an Alex. Um, and I'm also not a younger, shorter, but equally follically challenged uh, Jim Cantrell. So just so we got all that, in case you thought you saw the same person preaching every week, except for when it was Tracy, uh, not that person either. So who am I? My name is Alex. I have an amazing wife, Audrey, and two amazing daughters, Millie and Della. You'll see them dancing around the church. I'm actually from Gwinnett. Um, Audrey was born in Lawrenceville. Uh, her mom, I don't know if you know this, but she was Miss Gwinnett at some point, I think maybe back in high school, like five or 10 years ago. Um, and, uh, I, uh, and I grew up over in Peachtree Corners. And so the fact that we got moved all around the state of Georgia and came back here has been such a blessing. And so we feel like God has, has led us here. But as I invite you back to church, I also want to tell you that, you know, like you, I'm not perfect. And I want to, to be clear that and be authentic about the fact that we are all broken people reaching into Christ. So I want to tell you about how, how I'm not perfect. So, for instance, when I was four years old, um, we had a, a meeting with my preschool teacher and she informed my mom that I could not cut with scissors. And so since then I have lived into that helplessness and I'm still pathetic at cutting with scissors. I never got over that. Uh, um, I'm also very, very cynical about politics because when I was in the first grade at Berkeley Lake Elementary School over in Duluth, um, I was chosen to call President George Herbert Walker Bush for my class and we called the president on the phone and, and he didn't pick up and I had to leave a message and he passed away two years ago and he never called me back so I don't trust politicians anymore. I used to love basketball but in eighth grade being 5'8 meant that my NBA dreams were over when I was cut from my high school basketball team and I still haven't gotten over that and so I want you to know that I'm not perfect and that you can expect me to, uh, to be able to sympathize with you as we go through life together, as we seek God and seek God's transformation in our lives and, and know that, that we're all on a path to, to reach that place. Uh, I don't want to feel like that I have it all together. In fact, while I'm preaching, you can expect my kids probably to wander on stage because we don't even have it together as parents. So what you can expect from me, I want you to know what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about individuals experiencing God, experiencing grace, experiencing forgiveness, and then being transformed in the image of God. I am passionate about individuals coming into a sense of community where we do life together, where the people that you come to church with are the ones that you can rely on the most in your life. I'm passionate about our church making the community around us different. You've probably heard me say that if you've heard me preach at all, but Snellville should be different because our church sits here and we want to have an impact that shows God's love to the world around us for good and not for evil. Uh, I have a passion for mission, that God's truth and God's justice and God's love should be going out to the world around us, that we should be sharing the gospel, we should be meeting needs, that we should be putting this world back together and seeking peace and reconciliation. In pretty much every way the world's broken, the church should be the example of what the kingdom looks like when Jesus is in charge. And so that's who we're called to be. And so the bottom line is I'm for you. 
and I'm passionate about seeing what amazing things God is going to do in your life. And so join me as we return to our 930 service. God bless.